Heather Cooper had been in an accident. We are showing you how it's done. I had to give someone the power of attorney, and that right there just sends up a bunch of red flags. We are keeping your family safe. You don't want to go to the fire to get to your fire extinguisher. We are helping you save money. I just want you to tell me which one you like the best. Probably this one. I think the last one. We are the Defenders. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Defender Special. I'm Bill McGinty, joined by Mark Boyle and Michelle Bowden. For the next hour, we're going to be bringing you some of our greatest investigations, trying to help you steer clear of some scams, maybe even save you some money in the process. All year long, we're looking out for you, uncovering wrongdoing, exposing corruption, and finding solutions to keep you and your family safe. Tonight, we revisit some of our most memorable investigations in this primetime special. Let's start with the cash, Michelle. There are some safe ways to handle money and some not so safe ways to handle money. Yeah, we're starting off with a cautionary tale from a woman who learned the hard way to trust her intuition. She is a 59 year old counselor. Lived in Charlotte 22 years. Who lives near the Arboretum. And that was the bank I went to all the time. It sounds like a cliche, almost like a bad, scary movie. It was a dark and stormy night. It was about quarter till nine at night and it was raining. But she needed cash. So I drove up to the ATM, popped my card in, plugged my code in, and I heard this sound. It was this voice and I caught movement in my rear view mirror. And then she saw it. I remember thinking, what is that? My mind just couldn't make sense of it. And then I heard myself say, that's a gun. He'd come from behind the bushes. So he squeezed up in between my car and the ATM, and he was saying, give it to me, give it to me, give it all to me. He didn't get much, but she was shaken. I feel like all my guardian angels are right there trying to help me. Here's what Officer Frisk says she did right. Utilizing your car driving up would be a little bit safer because you're not actually having to physically get out of your car. Uh, at least whenever you pull up in your car, you know, if somebody were to approach you, you can easily just pull off. And he says, if you are in your car, make sure that your doors are locked and there's something else that we can all learn from this. Naturally, if there's shrubbery, any type of, you know, trees or bushes around the ATM, you know, you might want to look around that area. Maybe I would suggest of not going to an ATM when you see something like that. Also, pay attention to lighting. Is it okay to go to the ATM at night? Yeah, you know, it, it's okay. But he says if you are going at night, try not to go alone. And here's a great tip. Get cash when you check out at the grocery store. It's made me even more aware. I sense when a place is, feels bad and I don't hesitate to back off of that now. So the biggest takeaway for me from that story was you don't even have to go to an ATM. You can easily get cash at the grocery store when you're checking out. Meanwhile, 